Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlog. We are taking the old and new to get a tune. We're gonna be meeting with Toby at the JCT Racing Compound so that he can check why this car is not boosting. Cold start. And after that, we're going to check on the tower farms in the office because we are adding some more planters in the tower systems and it's about 10 days since the last vlog update so you guys can see what's happening there so super short day i'm a bit low energy because i slept late last night because we had some family social gatherings being that it was valentine's so belated happy valentine's to you guys so this car is a six-speed manual it's got a carbon interior which we need to fix um, the radio this is inherent problems of the older 997 and then this is also loose this is need a rebuild kit and uh, yeah lots of things to fix but again the aircon's cold power steering's good and then the car drives pretty much well except for no boost I'm actually quite curious how this car will feel on boost the car is running right it's just not boosting so i think the boost solenoid is acting up so i actually lost interest with this project because when we were building it we ended up having a lot of arguments with old and new in terms of the direction of the kit and as you can see i ended up using a different version for the rear we custom fab the whole long tail speed tail variant of the 997 because i felt like the rear fenders from the old and new were very lackluster in that sense and we actually ended up redesigning the front end also because the kit wasn't meant for a turbo which meant uh, it wasn't cooling the car properly and then the kit also wasn't meant for pop-up headlights so we ended up revising everything and uh, we wanted to run 20 inch max on the kit which meant that we needed to revise even the fender arches which basically ended up with uh, a whole new kit design which I wanted to sell I wanted to market locally but old and new were not happy about it so I ended up not really using this car and then just not prioritizing it in terms of the build but now it's been a few years so I don't think we we are going to have some more issues or any more issues because this kit doesn't sell as much anymore I don't see it online posted as much anymore so maybe we'll start promoting it again one main reason why I bought this car is because when I was driving Pete's 997 Liberty Walk car when we built it that was a fun car to drive around and I fell in love with the manual uh, variant for the Porsche 997 it's actually nice because the manual variant for the 997 turbos are softer in clutch and just easier to drive unlike the GT3 where it's actually got a really really firm clutch which I don't understand because this is the same clutch kit that's why it's noisy on this car you don't really hear it now but yeah it's generally noisy now this car hasn't really traveled very far and today I'm going to take it to Paranaque and then we're going to go to Malate so hopefully we don't break down halfway along the way and we make it to our destinations yeah for now let's get our RFID so that we can get on the Skyway Jonathan wants us to do some pulls before we get there so he can check into the data log on why the car is not boosting And we have arrived here in Jonathan's private garage. If you guys don't know who Jonathan Tew is, he is the fastest 
drag racing record holder in the Philippines if I'm not mistaken. He has the fastest GTR and then some of the other Civics also is some of the fastest drag racing cars here in Manila. And we're gonna take a quick sneak peek. Jonathan and Toby are not here yet, but this is the 997. So again, 997 Turbo 0.1 2005. We got the long tail conversion on it. Klein Inconel exhaust, Alpha kit everywhere, RSS arms, solid engine mounts, the trophy brakes, the Magwheel company that I used to tie up with, the Airx air struts, fitment, air suspension, Recaro pole seats, and then CSF radiator, and then the front old and new style uh, kit, and then along with the custom pop-up headlights that we installed. So let's leave the car first and snoop around. So according to the staff, this is doing 8.4 seconds. That is insane. And it looks relatively stock. The body lines are stock. I mean, obviously I think they change wheels later on to drag slicks. But look at this monster VR engine. Crazy work that they do here. Look at this guy. It looks like a full composite. EK closed off so they can ah this looks NA actually looks like an S2000 motor if I'm not mistaken and then just dumps straight out on long tube headers and that is insane cold air feeding straight from the intake probably we have another Evo looks like a 7 with some white flares so if you guys are into the quarter mile or drag racing, then definitely you guys know who Jonathan Q is. And I'm just thankful that he allows me to come here so that they can put my car on the dyno, sort it out, and hopefully get me back on track. Again, I'm, I'm just happy that the car is running after years of just being parked. We actually even haven't completed the rear diffuser of this car. It's supposed to have a massive rear diffuser, but Right now, as you can see, it's bare. So what do you think? Should we continue the rear diffuser or just leave it like this and then maybe create a center section? I wanted to show off the Klein Inconel exhaust also as part of the build. And as you can see, it's sideways. The tip here on the right side looks like it's moving up. Now, when we were learning how to fiberglass, we didn't realize that there's some shrinkage and look at that. So we now know better on how to make these panels. So. It's stiffer and it doesn't shrink or move around as much when it is heated. We ended up leaving the garage ready and thank you so much to Toby and Jonathan for helping sort the car out. They were saying that the cam sensor on bank 2 is not working which is why we have no boost. We were looking at the data log and we're only getting about 25% throttle, so very low. What Toby ended up doing was removing the VVTI system and basically allowing us to uh, flatten the cam profile so that we can boost. So he said it's going to be laggy but it's better than the 25% throttle that we were getting on boost so excited to see if this car will now pull on the highway let's see if we boost You guys don't understand how happy I am that this car is finally running and I'm able to drive it around. It's been years since this car was used as a proper car and now we're traveling from Paranaque all the way to Malate and the car is boosting. No issues, it did give me a little slip on the clutch. I don't know also if the clutch is properly designed for this car because 
from what I'm hearing, it sounds like this is the GT3 clutch that was accidentally installed here rather than the turbo clutch. So definitely, I'm gonna make a love letter on this car and hopefully send it back to Titan so we can do some finishing things on it. But amazing, 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 amazing. This day is so good. Okay, we're back in the office and we're gonna look at the plants. According to Mikey, it's been there for 11 days already. Yes, 11. We had a viewer tell us that we needed to wear UV protection lights when in reality, we check with the supplier, we don't have any UV issues with the grow lights. Wow. No yellow discoloration. Leaves are not wilting. So here, this is discoloration. This could be nutrients, but we'll leave it first. So far, 11 days looks super good. The Kong Kong looks amazing. And then our Pak Choi, nice green leaves, super healthy. So here, this is discoloration also. This is nutrient, but so far it's okay. Two leaves, we'll keep observing. So we're a little stunted because the lights end up over here which means the lower guys aren't getting anything and we're going to end up removing one of the top cups and bringing everything down so we can bring the lights down. Look at the Kong Kong, it's so healthy already. So my staff ended up coming down this morning and delivering more seedlings we've planted in every tower already. This is switch chart. We're trying to do a lot of samples of everything and make sure that in this environment we can also grow multiple crops. So a lot of the little plants are still new. Beautiful to see everything growing and the lights are not harmful for the eyes. We checked with the technical data sheet, there's no UV. So in the next few days, we're gonna get some updates to see how big these guys get. And what we've learned so far with uh, the further system is that these need to be brought in. So we're going to try to get an adjustable rail system so that we can bring the lights in, so that we can uh, take care of these smaller plants and then bring it out when they're much bigger. We are getting out of here. Finally left the office and wow, I feel so good. Imagine I woke up with a lack of sleep this morning and not knowing what to expect with the repair for the 997 Turbo and also with the, I guess the growth, growth period of the rooftop garden. But I feel so good, I feel accomplished and so proud of my team for really working it out and learning the system. We're almost ready to accept visitors for the rooftop garden also. Um, right now, we're just gonna go back on the highway, do one last pull, and then we're gonna end the vlog. I just wanna make sure that the car is boosting. I felt the clutch slip when we got on the power because I think we are running the wrong clutch kit system. like it's a rear wheel drive it's only squirming when it's on boost and none of the lower buttons on the console work the sport the BASM and then the PC BSM off does not work as well so I need to double check that and then the headlights stop popping up so that's going to definitely be on the checklist we might drop the car off so that Norman can open this panel and see if uh, both of these things are repairable. If not, we're gonna have to order some parts for it. I did message Tita already to check if he has a clutch kit available, but again, today is super grateful, super gratitude day. Everything's working well, and I'm gonna take a quick nap and then head out for our event tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I'll see you guys again in the next episode.